we've got a new governor who's in the driving seat right now, Sir Raghuram Rajan taking over just a couple of days back. How did you view that event? Because markets definitely cheered that uh, particular event quite uh, noticeably. Well, I do think the new governor has done a very good job uh, in his very uh, in the first few days in the office. Certainly, he has managed to uh, impose some kind of confidence back in the market. He is seen as being hands-on and really taking action rather than uh, adopting the wait-and-see approach, which I think is much needed uh, in this kind of environment. So I do compliment his, uh, his first few days. Uh, obviously, the challenge going forward is how to resolve some of the longer term issues such as the, uh, the, the current account deficit, such as the fiscal deficit, such as some of the uncertainties with policies. And unfortunately, that's uh, to some extent uh, very much out of the hands of the, of the central bank governor. So in that sense, I think what he has done so far is the right, uh, right direction. However, I think he does need uh, some support from the government side in order to make a complete package to really uh, resurrect investors' confidence. In that sense, what do you expect would be the strategy from the RBI going forward for the next one year? For, uh, for ASEAN or for Asia, sorry? No, uh, my question was basically what would, what would you expect the RBI strategy, let's say from the one year forward, let, from the central bank's point of view? Well, I think uh, that a couple of things in my mind. First of all, uh, currency stability is absolutely critical because at the end of the day, uh, if they cannot really provide a uh, orderly uh, movement or, or, or you know, less volatility in the currency, it is going to create more inflationary pressure as well as very weak investor sentiment. So in that sense, that's probably a priority. Secondly, how to manage inflation in India. That's always been a very difficult uh, question. And I think that, again, uh, will be high on the RBI's agenda, which all this put together means in the short term, they may be forced to tighten policy further. Uh, even though that means sacrificing short-term growth, uh, they probably need to adopt that position in order to achieve longer-term stability.